Hello friends, this is Manuraj FM Gadget Kada. Today I'm here to show you the top 10 changes in Mi A1 after the Android Pie update. So without further wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started, the first in the list is new launcher. The name of the new launcher is Quickstep. Previously we were having the launcher 3. So with this launcher we have the Google search bar on the bottom of the screen and on the top of the screen we have the date and time along with the weather information. The app drawer here is quite similar to what we have in previously and the only change is we have a top bar showing the recent apps and in the home screen if we slide from left to right we will get the Google news feed. So coming to the next change that is redesigned settings panel. So they have completely redesigned the settings panel with new colors. So the only change we can see here is the color change and they have moved the about phone from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. So rest of the things remain the same. So moving to the next feature that is they have redesigned the notification panel and now the icons have rounded corners. And for the notifications we have they have included few more features like the do not disturb mode and you can access that in notification and settings and there is an option called notifications and therein you will see a option called do not disturb. So you can set the behavior like when it needs to be activated like for whom like for which calls for which messages or events it needs to be activated and you can also set the time interval on when it needs to be activated. So moving to the next feature in the list is new theme selection. So for selecting the themes you will get three options. For that you can just go to your settings and search for themes. So it will show you the themes option, device theme option and you just need to click on device theme and there you will get three options. So the first is automatically select theme based on your wallpaper and then you have the light mode and the dark mode. So automatically detect wallpapers is like if you use a dark wallpaper the theme will change to dark and if you use a light wallpaper the theme will be light. So moving to the next change in the list is new recent apps menu. So with this update they have redesigned the recent apps menu and to access it you have to slide up. So when you slide up you will, ac you will get access to all the recent apps and to enable split screen mode you just need to tap and hold on the particular icon and you will get a option called split screen and then you can choose which other app needs to come in the split screen and you can enjoy using enjoy working in split screen so moving to the next feature in the list is android by gestures to activate the android by gestures you will have to go to settings and then in the settings search menu you will have to search for gestures so you can just type in gestures and it will show you where to go. So you'll have to go to gestures and you will see a new option called swipe up on home button. So when you activate this, your on screen buttons will turn into just a single button. So you can now move the navigation button to see all the recent apps and if you want to directly go to a particular recent app, you can just uh, swipe up in the home screen and it will take you the recent apps and if you want to go to the app drawer you will have to swipe up twice and if you want to go to the previous app you just need to swipe from left to right on the navigation button So now moving to the next feature that is new volume slider. So we have the new volume slider and by default it controls a media volume and if you tap on it you can just keep it to silent or in general mode and you can directly go to the settings and control the media volume, call volume, ringer volume and alarm volume. So coming to the next change that is accessibility menu. So with this update they have included a new accessibility menu and you can directly enable it from the settings so for that you have to go to accessibility settings scroll down and you will see the accessibility menu and you just need to turn that toggle on 
So once you turn that toggle, you will see a new accessibility menu on the bottom side of your screen. And when you click on that, you will get all the options like you can directly go to many of the accessibility shortcuts like Google Assistant, Screenshot, Power On, everything. So moving to the next feature is adaptive battery. So if you go to the battery settings, you will see something called adaptive battery. So when you turn this on, it will use AI to track on which application you are using and based and it will continuously keep monitoring on what you are using and based on that it will calibrate the battery. And you also get a new feature called battery saver which you can turn it on and you can set when it needs to be turned on like at what battery percentage it needs to be turned on. So coming to the last feature in the list is lockdown mode. You can access the settings by going to security and location and you will see something called lock screen preferences and here you will see a new option called show lockdown option. So once you enable it and if you press the power button you will see a new option called lockdown. So once you click on lockdown what happens is all other features all other login features will be turned on and only way you can log in will be using your pin so that's it guys that's it for the video if you like the video please hit the like button do share it to your friends and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos so until next time bye bye